and I just realized I forgot my phone. This guy is just sitting right in the entry exit way, right in the middle of it. Dude on a bicycle, like, like that's not there for people to drive in and out of. Oh, boy, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Excuse me. You're an idiot. He's still just sitting there. I'm sorry. That's that's just the dumbest thing I've seen a bicyclist do, maybe ever. Cars pull in and out of that. Everybody that lives here. So now that I got my phone back, kind of reminds me of an interesting topic. I had no idea you were doing a U-turn. You couldn't make a tighter U-turn than that. So, interesting topic. What was I going with that? Yeah, phones. It's so weird to be without a phone now. I mean, you, you, you literally feel naked. Like, something's wrong. That kid was cool. Oh, we got ourselves a white stingray. No, I'm not racist. It's just literally white. Yeah, maybe I am a little bit. I don't know. Because if it was red, I ran into a red stingray not too long ago. I didn't say, ooh, we found ourselves a red stingray. But if it's white or black for some reason, I feel the need to call out the color. A white stingray. A black stingray. Any other color? I just say stingray. I don't know. Why is that? I have to admit, this car is pretty cool. Look at the dude in there, man. He's sitting so low. And just like every other gazillion dollar sports car, the only people you see driving it are some golden spoon fed young kid or some old people. I can't see the lady driving very good, but the dude in the passenger seat looks like he's at least 70. <laughs> this will be funny. Oh, I'm not gonna get long enough light. All right, so back to the phones. We've become so attached to our phones that we can't go anywhere without them. And you, you literally feel bad. Like something's wrong when you accidentally leave the house without your phone. I almost can say I have no social media accounts. Now, I recently just fired one up. Mainly for a new hobby I've picked up in the last couple of years. And I wanted to try and find other people that are into that same hobby and just get like technical advice, how-to advice and what works for other people so I could try to do things for myself. And I think that's a pretty, pretty good use case for social media. I think where social media really kind of tends to suck is when you use it for friends and family, social, just casual social stuff. I just found myself wasting so much time over stuff that doesn't even matter. Mainly like politics and religion. People get so wound up, they're so tightly connected to their politics and their religion that people get all butthurt. 
They get all butt hurt over stuff. It doesn't even matter. These social media apps, I call them toilet apps. Because <laughs> half the time, not even half the time, I'd say three quarters of the time, most of the time, I would fire these apps up when I was going to the restroom. So I was like, I don't know, after a while, I was just like, these are just toilet apps. It's the only time I used them. What else is kind of interesting? You think you know your coworker? You think you know your your friend? Maybe it's just a casual friend, social events, and then you move away, or they move away. Something changes, and now you guys are separated, and you no longer physically hang out or see each other at, at work or social events. And now, but you're Facebook friends, right? And so now your only interaction with this with this individual is through some social media. But for most people, it's probably Facebook. Facebook's ridiculously huge. And uh, you learn you learn things about the this, this person that you know used to interact with. You learn things about them that you didn't know um, existed. And I, I mean like like big things, whether it's their where their political interests lie or I mean just for one reason or another, it's just things that never comes up in discussion when you're like face to face at a party. But man, um, it's like no holds barred when it's social media. People post all kinds of stuff up there. And you really get like you really get an inside look at an individual. And it's really kind of startling. And, and it, I don't know, man. I think it's weird how people feel okay saying one thing on social media that for whatever reason they um, they'll never say it to your face. And regardless of whatever it is, there's something inherently wrong with that. I mean, if you can't say it to somebody's face, you probably shouldn't be saying it on social media. I mean, there's probably a good reason why you won't say it to somebody's face. And, and the reason is probably not a good thing. And there's a good reason for it, but the reason is like really, really bad. And uh, I can think of some pretty hardcore racist stuff that came out of people that you know, I wouldn't say I was friends with, but um, people that I would see almost once a week. And when we see each other, we have you know casual conversation. Everything's cool. We can treat each other, treat each other, you know, with respect. But then when you see some of the stuff they say on social media, it's almost like uh, when you're on social media, there's like no social, you know, unwritten rules or guidance or it's just whatever the heck I want, like what I really think, what I really feel. But then when you're physically in contact, all of a sudden, you know, the guards go up. Oh, I can't say how I really feel about this subject or that subject around these people. And I don't know, I, I think that's pretty sad. It's like, why are you Facebook friends then? You know? I don't know. I don't know nothing. Except this is a crappy road. <laughs> you did not get me today. It'd be interesting to see what other people think about social media. Am I on an island all by myself? Or do other people have the same kinds of experiences with social media that I've had? I do not. I've never understood those monkey bars. That's just got to be the most uncomfortable riding position of all time. Some people think these uh, crotch rockets are really bad, and maybe for some people they are leaning forward, hands so far down. I take that over those monkey bars any day of the week, man. Look at these people. They don't understand that pedestrians have to ride away. 
There you go. Take your time, lady. There ain't no rush. Oh, man. I'm going to do it again. So, yeah. That's my social media rant. And you guys can't see it, but right now I'm reaching back and making sure my phone is in my back pocket still.